I think one of the challenges with the concept of diversity of thought is that you're trying to refine ideas to come up with a better idea. So you want people mm. who are interested in having a common outcome debate how to get there and work through the challenges, the pros and cons of both sides, right? Mm -hmm. And the, ch the challenge with American politics is that the left wing wants one type of world that have very different values and goal and goals than, you know, right wing. And I actually feel for this moderate class that are much more likely to say, oh, we kind of want this thing, but yeah. if we have to get this thing, we sacrifice all these other things, then I think I want all the other things. Yeah, well, so this is the thing. Totalitarian left-wing thought basically stamps out every other form of thought that exists or could even potentially exist, so it makes sense that you'd have a broad coalition of mm -hmm. people trying to push back against it. Obviously, first and foremost, what they hate is me and people like me. They hate Catholicism. They hate uh, conservative Catholics and religious values. And this goes all the way back to when leftism was first incepted. We get the terms right and left from the French Revolution. And what were the leftists doing during the French Revolution? They were beheading priests and they were beheading nuns and they were killing monarchs. So basically, people who value the things that I value are the complete antithesis of left-wing thought. But of course... I'm not the only kind of person who wants to fight them because even if you're somebody who's more moderately liberal, even if you're you know, a more Protestant uh, conservative as opposed to being a Catholic conservative, even if you're non-religious but you just think that the American institutions as they existed for the last 200 years are better than what the left's vision is, you're going to want to join the fight against them because they've, they, they've made it perfectly clear – that their fringe and niche ideological worldview is something that they're not just asking to be left alone to practice by themselves, but is actually something they want to force onto everybody. Mm -hmm. They want to eliminate every other way of life besides theirs. Yeah. So for as much as Christians and religious people are, are stereotyped as being totalitarian, the truth is that while I am Catholic, I do want to evangelize. Ideally, I would like for the entire world to become Catholic. I understand that not only with respect to people outside the church, but even to people like within the Catholic church, even though there are certain moral principles that you can't deviate from and still call yourself Catholic, there's still diversity of opinion that's warranted. We don't have to all have the same view on economics, for example. We have to have similar goals, but it doesn't have to be the same exact perspective on every issue, right? With, with left-wing thought, if you even slightly disagree with one iota of the agenda, you're a far-right Nazi fascist. Mm -hmm.